Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ebel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and join me today for a major Monday meal prep. I like to meal prep on Mondays. I feel like it kind of helps set me up for a healthy week and it also helps remind me what day it is because that has been a struggle the last six months. You know what I mean? So today I'm making five different recipes, which might sound like a lot, but most of them are very simple. And I think I should be able to have this meal prep done in like an hour and a half, two hours max. I'll post a link to my five different recipes because I've already filmed YouTube videos for what I'm making today. And then in addition to those recipes, I'm gonna chop up some extra veggies to have for a veggie tray for like wraps and salads and whatever else I need to eat for the week. So I pulled everything out onto the counter. Let me show you what my plan is. So the first thing I'm going to get started on is my potato cheese. I need to scrub and peel my potatoes and then boil my potatoes and carrots. It usually takes about 40 minutes or so to boil. So while I'm waiting for the potatoes and carrots to cook, I'm going to chop my cauliflower up into pieces to make a buffalo cauliflower and then I'll get that in the oven. After I get the cauliflower and the onion, I'll chop my tomatoes, peppers, some red onion, some garlic, and get that roasting in the oven for my oven roasted salsa. While I'm waiting for all of that stuff to cook, I'm gonna prep a batch of my chickpea of the sea, which is what the hearts of palm, garbanzos, and celery is there for. And sometime during all of this, I am going to whip up some of my super simple smoothies, which is basically just spinach, frozen fruit, and some frozen orange juice concentrate to make like a simple green juice. That's what I really like to have to start my day. And then I mentioned I'll put together a veggie tray with some of the baby carrots, some of the peppers, I've got some broccoli, and some little cucumbers. And after the oven roasted salsa and the potato cheese are done, I'm actually going to mix part of those together to make a queso, which is like one of my new favorite snacks. It kind of looks like a lot to do, but like I said, I think an hour and a half I can have this all done, and then I should probably not have to cook until like Thursday or Friday. <laughs> Okay, I think we are at the halfway point. Let's, oh yeah. Okay, that stuff is good. Last minute I decided I wanted to steam some broccoli to go with the potato cheese. That is good. Let's get some of this stuff out of the oven. I may have forgotten to flip my cauliflower because I was distracted with the rest of my meal prep, but I think it looks amazing. I think it looks great. So I'm gonna flip it now, and then I'm gonna add buffalo sauce, turn the oven off, and then let that buffalo sauce just sink in. And then I will also have room on my stove to pull the salsa stuff out of the oven. Oh yeah, I think this looks really good. There, like those, those are my favorite kind of pieces. So good. 
Uh, turns out I forgot I used up all of the buffalo sauce I had last time I made this recipe. So today we're just gonna do some franks. It's still delicious. It's actually probably healthier to just do this than that thicker buffalo sauce. Ooh, maybe I'll add some sriracha too. I love this sriracha. So actually, I think I'm gonna like this better than the buffalo sauce. I'll let you know. So I'm gonna put this back in, let the sauce soak in, and pull this out to cool. So I need to let this cool a little bit and then I will actually peel the garlic. If you don't know, I put the garlic in with the peel still on it, little drizzle of olive oil, and then once it's cooked, the cloves pop out way easier than fighting with the garlic when it's raw. I'll also peel off some of these extra tomato skins. They come right off once this is cooked. I also chopped up extra onion and fresh cilantro for the salsa and then celery and onion for the chickpea of the sea mix. So I'm done chopping stuff. I think I'm gonna get out the ninja and whip up my green juices and then start in on the chickpea of the sea. doing mister Ted has been crying for my attention for like probably 45 minutes my poor sweet boy you just want some love huh oh you're so cute Ted but get off the table dude the tape who am I kidding he's the boss Okay, I am finally done with my meal prep. It took a little bit longer than two hours, but I wasn't really factoring dish doing time. I had to do dishes twice, and then like the extra time of messing around with my camera for YouTube. So I think I probably could have got it done in like hour and a half, hour 45, but yeah. I also made two batches of my green juice. I didn't show the second batch, but I started getting hungry, realized I hadn't ate breakfast, and ended up making two batches of that. So now I just need to decide what I'm gonna have for lunch. I think I'm going to do the steamed broccoli and potato cheese for lunch, because that's always best fresh, and it's probably already getting cold. So back here I have my potato cheese, my salsa, and then here's where I mix the potato cheese and salsa together to make a queso. This is so good. I made this a couple weeks ago and loved it. I have two tubs of my chickpea salad, which 
I love this stuff so much. I eat it almost every day. It's good on bread. It's good in like romaine lettuce wraps. And I've also found it, I really like it just with cucumber slices. It's like a little topping on a cucumber slice. My buffalo cauliflower, I'm really happy with the way it browned up. I like the way it crisped. And I think I actually do like the sriracha hot sauce combination better than using that buffalo sauce that isn't spicy enough for me, so. Got my veggie tray for snacking with hummus or with the chickpea salad. And then my green juices, you can kind of tell the two different batches. There are just a slightly different color, even though they are both cherry, berry, orange flavor, I guess. And did I mention I like to watch YouTube videos while I do my meal prep? Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and joining me for my major Monday meal prep. I think that this is enough food definitely to last till Thursday, if not Friday. So hopefully I won't have to do any more meal prep until next weekend. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Be well. Did you see me hit the record button? I love you, honey, but can you be quiet while I film my intro? Cut all that. Don't like that either. Five different recipe. <laughs> That squirrel is so cute. Oh my gosh, that squirrel. <gasps> He's eating the grapes I threw out there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, can I? I had some grapes that went bad and I threw them out and my little squirrel found them. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. I can't even explain how happy a squirrel eating a grape makes me. Oh my gosh, is this the cutest thing ever? Oh my gosh. I love squirrels. Okay. I gotta get on with my day. I could sit and watch, or maybe I'll sit outside and watch him. <laughs> so cute!